Hello YouTube, thanks for tuning in. To follow along in this tutorial today, you will need to have Git installed on your system. If you do not have it, then check out my other video on how to install it and then come back to this one afterwards. So in this video, I want to talk to you about GitHub and how to use it with Git. Um, the purpose of this video is to get you started with using Git with five basic commands. Those commands are git clone, git pull, git add, git commit, git push. Don't worry about it. We'll get to what those commands are for and what they do in a little bit. So first question that needs to be answered is what is GitHub? So GitHub is a central repository for keeping all of the code base. It's usually located on a remote server that is accessible via Git. So GitHub is a place to keep the code, oh, not uh, not only code, but for that matter, any files. And Git is the protocol to get those files and or to synchronize it with what's on your local repository. So when a developer wants to work on a code base, he can do Git checkout and or Git pull to get all of the files in his local repository from the remote repository. Then he starts working with them. Once a the developer is done working with them, he can commit the changes to his local Git repository. And after that, he can push the changes to the remote repository via Git. So the primary, uh, the primary function of Git is to push local changes to the remote repository. So coming back to Git commands and what they do. So git pull, which is this command right here, git pull pulls the code base from the remote repository to your local working directory. Okay. Think of it as downloading files from a remote server, which is here, and there are some files located on this repository. And when you do git pull, you download them to your local drive. <clears throat> or oh, working directory rather. Git push on the on the other hand, which is right here, pushes local local commits that are on your local repository. It pushes them to the remote repository. So think of git push as uploading your local files to the remote uh, repository. Before you can do git push, as you can see here, you can only do git push from your local repository to the remote repository. You cannot do it from your files to the remote repository. That is because first you have to have some changes committed to your local repository. And to commit the changes, you have to first add them to the index. Okay. So you have a project. So your files, think of this as your working directory in your project. And you have a text file that you made changes to. Git will see those changes. And you can do git add and then the file name to add that change to the index. And then from there, you can do git commit to commit that, uh, that index to the repository. And then you can push your local repository, which is, are the changes that are available only on your local machine. You can push that to the remote repository. And then those changes will be available on Git or Stash or another um, server that is used to host your uh, remote repository. So I mentioned that there are five commands. And we covered four so far. The fifth one is git clone. This one right here. Git clone will copy the master branch of the remote repository to your computer. Okay. So let's go through an example. To follow along, you will need an account on GitHub. So go ahead and sign up for a free account on at uh, github.com and 
come back to me. <laughs> so in this example, we're going to create a repository in GitHub, clone it, make some local changes, and push them back to GitHub. So once you signed in, go to your profile, repositories, new, and then give a name to your repository. This can be pretty much anything. I'm going to name it YouTube Demo, and then I'm going to initialize it with a readme file just so we have something to clone. And we're going to say create repository. So our repository has been created. Now we need to clone this repository onto our local, onto our computer. So we're going to go here, I'm going to press this, and then I'm going to open up my CMD, and I'm going to go to desktop, and then I'm going to say git clone, and I'm going to paste this URL that just I just copied. So I hit enter, and then you see that I just got a folder right here called YouTube demo. Okay, so let's open this folder up. So we see that I have a git folder. This is my git repository. That That's the local repository right here. And here we have the readme file, which is exactly the same as this. So we have YouTube demo. If you open this up, we have hashtag YouTube demo. So now let's check to see if there are any changes in our repository. To do that, we're going to do git status. Oh, actually, first we have to go, we have to uh, change directory into the YouTube, whoops, to the YouTube demo. So we're going to go to the YouTube demo and we're going to do git status. And it tells me that I'm on, a, on the uh, master branch and my branch is up to date with origin master. Okay, so let's make some changes to this readme file. Okay, so let's do that. And now I save those changes and I'm going to do, I'm going to check my status. And it tells me that I have modified readme file. So I want to push this change that I made to my GitHub. Okay, I want to have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do git add and then I'm going to say what I want to add and that's the readme file that I just changed. So I'm going to say git add readme. And then let's check the status again. Okay, you see it's green now. So that means that the file was added to the index. Okay, and now I can commit this to my local repository. So I'm going to do git commit and I'm going to say the message uh, minus m stands for message so git commit m and i'm going to say changed readme file okay i'm going to commit this <clears throat> so now if you do git status I see that my branch has one commit that has not been pushed and git tells me that I can push it right now to my uh, remote repository. So what we're going to do is we're going to do git push and it should go. Okay, it's going to ask me for my username. And then my password. So I give it, and then I see that it was pushed to my remote repository. So let's check my repository here. Let's just update it. And you see that the example change that we made in the repository there is reflected. So we made this change on my local machine we committed it to the local repository and then we pushed it to the remote repository and we see that the change is reflected and now it's available remotely from anywhere. So that's the gist of it. That's the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.